Hello everyone, today I'm uh, sharing a few tips about um, repairing the seals or the packing on this Dearborn model 19-8 uh, front loader. Um, very old unit. It's mounted by the way on this uh, Ford 8N tractor. I believe it's a 1949 based on the front front distributor and what's going on here is uh, I got this tractor for about three years and uh, it was leaking a little bit from right here from the hydraulic cylinders but it wasn't as much as uh, recently I was loading something really heavy and this one just started pouring pouring out uh, fluid so now it's time to fix that uh, this one is done, but let me show you a few things. Let me first talk about the specs on this. So this cylinder, uh, the rod, it's a two inch outer diameter. The case in here, I think they call it the bore, uh, that's a two and a half inch inner diameter. Uh, so those packings that you're going to put in there, they need to be two inch inside and two and a half inch outside we'll talk about that in a little bit so what i had oh and then uh, another thing i learned since I'm, i was new into hydraulics uh, what i learned this is a single acting hydraulic cylinder what that means is that there is uh, hydraulic oil traveling only in one direction through this hose lifting this piston or this rod out for the loader to go up uh, for going back what well, works its way back it's gravity with the weight of the actual loader um, so of course if uh, if you have a cylinder that has two hoses that means that it's a dual acting and this won't apply to you probably it will probably be a completely different cylinder and different packing uh, what I did, I had to remove it. You don't even have to remove it, but I did it because I wanted it to take this to a local shop and find the right parts and maybe, you know, get educated on what I have here. So, of course, I removed the hose. I removed that pin over there. And then I removed this other pin, the cutter pin, of course. This is a half inch. Um pretty easy to remove it at that point then before I even remove it I removed this cap it was very loose already uh, and then there is uh, what they call the V packing around here you're gonna need, need a good set of uh, picks to pull it out um, but they came out fairly easy uh, and then I took the whole thing to to this local shop by the way, before you do that, make sure you, uh, before you do this job, make sure you choose a good um, area where you don't mind getting some oil just in case. Of course, you need a container here because when this thing comes down or over there when you disconnect your hose, if, if you do that, you're going to have some uh, spillage here. Uh, so make sure you, oh, and most important, clean all the cylinder because if it's greasy, you're gonna get all the grease in here. You don't want that. You want this all this to be clean. And if you're planning to reuse the oil, you make sure whatever drains, put it away, cover it, and then have another container for whatever gets dirty here. Um, I'm planning to put new oil, so um, new hydraulic oil. So now let's get to the parts. Here's my receipt. Uh, for both of the cylinders, $35 here are the parts the most important part it's this bottom one here this is the actual V packing that they call um, that's part number V as Victor S as Sierra 2000 4X087 I got two of those for $14.89 uh, let me show you exactly what that is it's this this right here it's one two three four five six seven a total of seven pieces 
but they come packed like that it's a whole kit so each one of these is like $14 the reason why they call V packing as you can see they have a shape of a B in there one other tip I learned from this guy is that that V the V groove it's supposed to be aiming always towards where the pressure is coming from in this case the oil is coming from there to push the rod out so these packings uh, the V is supposed to go in that direction so when I remove this one on this side guess what these are the wrong way see the V groove it's in that direction so whoever did this put them wrong I guess anyways that's what that guy told me at the hydraulic shop uh, so what you're gonna do like I said on the other side you remove this cap I think they call it the gland uh, it's just screw in there it's very very uh, easy to remove it again since it's a single acting there's these don't don't get you know really tight because there's only pressure on one side uh, then you're gonna need your picks to remove uh, this to pull them out once you do that again we have let's count them one two three four five six this is six here and these are the old once you do that you're gonna see over there that it, it's hard to see here but it's just metal in there and there's like a stop it looks more almost like a C um, snap ring or something like that but uh, they told me don't worry about trying to remove that you don't even need to do that because there is nothing else back there there's nothing else it's just a, a metal part that holds this thing of completely coming out but they said that air, the whole thing that is doing the you know sealing is this B packing and of course there is also your wiper they call it on this cap which is this o-ring right here uh, and let me show you that part number Oh, my receipt here is that top one there they call it the 329 o-ring the specs are right under 2 by 2 3 8 by 3 16 um, and that was two dollars i got two of those of course and if you google these part numbers uh, you'll find them and uh, they'll be a little cheaper but with shipping it's going to come out to about the same somewhere in between 35 to 40 dollars with your shipping so what I'm gonna do here, I'm just gonna pull this out. You're gonna need to sand this really nice. Yours is gonna be probably really dirty and thick. You need to sand it really good. So it'll, mostly for the new ones, when they go in, you don't damage them. Uh, probably put some oil around and they'll slide right in. And then with the same cap, you're gonna pretty much push them in there uh, if you have a a pipe that is bigger than two inches in inner diameter, that might be helpful to hammer in there a little bit um, until, of course, you can start until you hit, this tread hits the other tread in there, the inner tread, and then you can start using the actual force of this to to put some load. That's one thing that they told me at the shop. You make sure you load those seals meaning that it needs to be tight, um, like squeeze in there. Um, they told me, don't worry, you don't need to have all the tread in there because you can see this side is already very tight and I still have enough tread in there. Uh, that doesn't mean that it's not sealed. It just means that there is, um, maybe if I remove one of those V packings, it would have been like, uh, like all the way through in there but I'm okay with that that way I have room to tighten it more if needed um, I think that's it uh, some of the tools I've been using for this I uh, use this one for removing the main cap or gland um, what else my um, these tools right here mainly to remove the the big packings out of there of the casing. Um, this stuff right here to clean the grease, sandpaper, some oil to 
slide those rings in there but that's all there is to it it's a very easy job where you don't even have to remove anything i just removed that other one uh, just to get that education from the hydraulic shop but uh seeing this one i didn't remove the hose i didn't remove the rear pin at all the only thing i removed was this front pin um put a jack down here just uh because this thing is heavy and once i got it extended i'm just resting here on this towel so again make sure you clean really really good because you don't want to damage or get this dirty you don't want to get any dirt in there um and these grease shirts uh also i removed them because they are here on the on the tip and uh I'm gonna clean it and greasing grease them and I'm gonna add new hydraulic oil anyway so by the way that's supposed to go right here this is the filling cup I found um, information online that it's supposed to take three to four gallons um, I'm not sure of that to be honest but I got a five gallon bucket of this which is the one that I use also for the for the main uh, transmission and everything. So if I don't use it all, I have enough for future. Uh, one thing I did find on the manual is of this loader is that you're supposed to fill it all the way to to this cap. So I guess that'll tell me how much it needs. Uh, oh, and I drained. I forgot the step. I did drain my my oil. Where is the draining? Right here. Before I even started this job, this is where I drained. Remove this cap and drain all my oil fluid. And again, if you're planning to reuse it, you need to be very careful with it. Drain it, then immediately put it away, cover it, and then use another container while you're just... Uh, letting it uh, finish here draining because you're gonna have dust falling into that you're gonna have grease as you're working and cleaning uh, that's all I got for you just if this is not really a how-to but I'm just sharing a few tips that I, I didn't find online um, and it turns out that it's a very easy to do job um, I'm assuming if they do it, it shouldn't be more than 50 to 80 dollars labor if you take the cylinders. But trust me, it's more work removing these cylinders and carry them because they're really heavy than actually just removing that cap, sanding this, removing the pin, of course, uh, getting the old B packing out, cleaning, and then putting your be packing in there again and then putting your pin and you're done refill your oil again uh, so i'm gonna pause it here and i'm gonna show you once it's working to make sure it's not leaking okay guys the tractor is running and we're gonna test for leaks i want i know it's not leaking but i want to show proof let me give a little bit of throttle Let's inspect this one. Definitely not leaking. All right. The wiper there looks like it's doing its job too, keeping that rock clean. Sweet. 
I will call it a fix. No more hydraulic leaking, at least off the cylinders. I still have issues with my valve over there, hydraulic valve. Um, so quick summary of things that I did after the pausing the video. Uh, remember, I was working on this one right here. Uh, I had a little bit of struggle putting the V packing in there on this one for some reason. So what I ended up doing is I divided the packing in two sets. Uh, I think I left two two rings out. So I tightened this all the way in without even putting the wiper, so I can put this in and out easily. Uh, I and then I tighten it really good to load it in there. Then I move this cap out without moving the the piston. Of course, this is before I put the pin in here. Okay. Um, then I send the other the remaining of the V packings in there, and that allowed me to to grab tread to be able to pack it there really good to press it. Uh, without doing that, you either gonna have to eliminate at least two of those um, rings or packings uh, or you're just gonna have a hard time trying you know be able to grab the tread in there but that's what I did I divided that in into two groups and I first forced the first group in there and then put the next group in there so as a reminder remember the V the V groups need to be facing that way um, and then when removing your old packing, don't waste time trying to get it out neat. Just grab two uh, picks and just junk it out of there. Uh, and then another thing, when I refilled, since I had a five gallon bucket, I placed it right here on the, on the hood. Uh, this is the filling cap. It took uh, from my five gallons approximately three and three quarters almost four gallons uh, so I have a, a little bit over a gallon left of that right there uh, one thing that I strongly recommend is one of those Harbor Freight Harbor Freight uh, pumps really handy especially if you're doing the the five gallon bucket strongly recommend it um, if you're just doing one gallon at a time then no big deal with the funnel uh, of course don't forget to put your draining cap back uh, one other thing when I filled it the first time I run the tractor it took a little a few seconds for this to have a reaction when I uh, pull it up or down uh, as soon as it started going up the loader um, I checked in here and it took at least another gallon of fluid in there. So the first time it filled up with like two and a half. And then after after working it up and down at least like five times full cycles, then I added another, it took another gallon approximately. So right now it's filled all the way here. When you open this, you can actually see if it's, if it takes more, you're going to see the shiny part of the, the inside of the, the pipe. Once you, you know you're there, you're just going to see brownish fluid in there. Um, that's it, guys. Hope uh, Hopefully this helps. If you have any questions, I'm going to add more information on the description as far as the specs of what I have here. Um, there is some numbers stamped on these cylinders, but I don't really think they mean anything. There's a letter C in there. And I remember there was a number stamped somewhere, but uh, I Google those numbers all over and there's really nothing coming up. So I know my stroke of these uh, rods from collapse to all the way out, it's 26 and a half inches. That's the stroke of how much this will come out to fully lift the, the loader. Um, but I'll add some more information as i remember on the description uh in case it's useful uh again thank you guys